My name is Cindy Duca. I'm a freelance costume designer here in Portland, Oregon, in Pennsylvania. We are here today in my studio. Most recently, I designed Xmas Carinto Remix for Milagro, and then designed and almost opened the Carito of the Sunset Tree Shows. I want to thank Milagro for having this digital platform for artists to share their work in this time of virus. Today we're going to be doing a coloring page inspired by Milagro's show Blast Off for next season, and I hope you enjoy. All right, so today we're doing a coloring picture of Dr. Ellen Ochoa, who was the first Latina to go into space. She was an American engineer, and with her, I have imagined the Russian space dog, Laika. So first off, I printed the image onto a piece of lightweight watercolor paper, which I will now paint in. So I've already mixed my colors. I put some blue into a little pot and added about three tablespoons of water to it. I like to do more than one blue color. I think it makes a more vibrant base to work from. So I water up my brush. Get it nice and full with pigment. Get a little water in there. I'm gonna test out the color. Make sure I like it. I want it a little darker. A little less runny. To get through the printer, the pa the watercolor paper has to be nice and light, and therefore you don't want too much water on your brush because it'll warp out the paper. So I'm gonna start with. Ellen's pants. She's pointing at one of the planets she's going to jump to next. And I'm gonna pull right down, bringing all of the paint with me. I'm gonna stroke across and then make a little shadow just by like pressing my brush into the paper and droplet. I'm gonna go over here to the inseam of the pant and I'm gonna draw down the thigh, hit the knee with a shadow, come down to the bottom of the pant and then again make a little droplet of paint. So there you see you've got some nice highlights to work with. You can imagine the planet's lights coming onto the pants or whatever wherever your light source is. I always like my light source to be in my upper right hand corner. All right for the t-shirt I'm gonna oh, come over here and grab a, a skinnier brush and go into my red paint. And just going to, I'm gonna imagine the t-shirt's actually white to make it easy for today. I'm gonna draw some stripes on, give some officialness to the look. Collar for the, the air. All right, and here we have some, some planets on her t-shirt that sort of mimic the planets in the composition. All right, I'm gonna move on to the planet underneath her feet. I've mixed up some green. And see how I've drawn texture into the planet? I'm gonna follow that with my brush. So all of my concentrated color is going to be underneath where I think the shadows are. And then maybe I'll put a little bit over here to kind of blend it together. Then later, I would come with a deeper green or a different green and do the sort of um, texture I've given, the circles I've given the planet. Same thing up here. So with a red brush, I'm gonna come in and do my Mars looking planet. And Now it looks like my layers of planet are separated. All right, we will do, do a far reaching green planet. I'm not gonna give too much detail because it's further away. And finally we'll come back in and give like a little color. 
I like brown dogs. But for some excitement, I've got a black pin over here now. It's wet, I'm gonna be really careful. You all should probably wait till it's dry. And I'm gonna fill in her little spots. But if you do this when it's too wet, the ink will blend all into the watercolor and you'll get a mess. All right, so that's the, that's the watercolor version. Over yonder, we actually have a full watercolored version of this. All right, so another medium to work with is colored pencil. While not my favorite, it is effective for quick coloring in. So I've already started here. And something to think about when using colored pencil is you don't want to overlap your color too much because you will not get a consistent color variant. So I started with a, light, a lighter color blue. And here I've done all of my lines in one direction and I change a little bit to account for the grain of the fabric. And here I change a little bit more. But you see, I don't really go back coloring over. I stay with one layer. And I'm gonna take my darker color. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna make a little shadow here under the waist, come in under the pocket. I've decided my light source is up in this corner again. That's natural and familiar. And then I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna outline my pocket in dark outline under the legs, in this little fold, make some definition. This time I'm going to color in Ellen's hair. I've decided to go orange. She had a good day at the salon, or maybe it just grew that way. You never know. match her stripes. And then we'll do some purple planets. One thing I've got over here in Ellen's hand is her flute. There's a great photo of her playing her flute in space. So I'm going to outline that with some just some regular pen. I also have a lot of gold marker if that will work just to get some some gold in there I've added in stars to this drawing so if you have some metallic gold or just some yellow you could fill the stars in I did a version where I actually colored in my background which might take some time but if you wanted to maybe take a light blue you could just sort of run it over the whole thing. I tend to like to put colors in the corners and then fade it out and sort of see what happens, which is why I've added these sort of like grids on the side so you could give a color of like what you imagine the sky to be without filling in the whole thing. Contrast, imagine some space, space walls that we're seeing through. Mostly it's just to have fun. And you know, you can do this at home if you don't have a printer. You can draw your own. I really just wanted to focus on, on big spaces that I could have fun coloring in. As a kid, I did lots of like random shapes and then I would color those in. So this is, is sort of in that vein. And I hope you have fun. Remember you can Print that out on watercolor paper. It's a good time. And I hope you enjoy coloring in Ella and Laika the Space Dogs.